My name is Adam Jacoff. I'm from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Uh, I'm here on the vehicle course of the DARPA Robotics Challenge that's coming up. Um, been working for several months with some uh, other government agencies, uh, Air Force Research Lab, Navy SPAWAR, uh, Naval Surface Systems, um, Southwest Research Institute. We've been developing these test methods, eight different test methods, to evaluate humanoid robots or robots working in degraded human conditions uh, that would be representative of disaster environments like Fukushima Daiichi. This vehicle course is intended to show that the vehicle can get downrange in a uh, restricted zone without using its own onboard power systems to negotiate some complexity. In this case, all the test methods involve some controlled complexity, variables that are very well defined, very well controlled, and easy to replicate internationally so that the teams really aren't meant to be surprised by any of the tasks that they see here. What they should be is practiced at the tasks. And the challenge is in putting all the different tasks together, ultimately, next year in the finals for the DARPA Robotics Challenge. So the vehicle course starts at this end. Uh, the vehicle is a utility vehicle. They traverse a, um, uh, a slalom course that starts out with 40-foot gates and reduces down to 30-foot gates toward the end. Robot gets into the finish line area. Robot's supposed to exit the vehicle and go out one of the two exits under its own power. Score three points, one for each subtask along the way. 